What's going on everybody? It's your boy Crate Simmons and I'm coming at you via my Xbox One Upload Studio. It's got a I got two things that I really want to talk about. I said, like I said, I don't normally do two videos a week with me in here talking. Mostly just putting up some gameplay or whatever. But uh, I was watching a channel today, uh, the other day on YouTube while I was getting ready for work. And uh, the guy basically comes out and says um, the Xbox One is desperate because of the price cut. Desperate. That's right, he says that's what <laughs> I, I don't get it, man. <sighs> Things go on sale all the time. TV, so th does that mean Samsung is desperate? Well, Sony is desperate because they price cut their TVs. <laughs> it's not desperation. I think it's a smart business move. At the end of the day, you're supposed to get these consoles into as many houses as you can. That's how they make money. Now, immediately after the Microsoft price cut, the PlayStation price cut was was out. Uh, the PS4 regular now, or the Slim, what they're calling, is 279 as well. I think it's 279, 249. I can't remember, but it's, it's under 300. Bottom line, it's under 300. And uh, the PS4 Pro is 350. So. And that just came out. And they still got their Black Friday sale. But I don't mean Sony desperate. It's smart. I mean, $400 was an outstanding price point if you wanted to have a PS4 if you don't have one. But for the people like me who already have a PS4, to me, it wasn't that big of an upgrade for shelling out the extra $400. Even $350, uh, it's tempting now for me. I might get one. Like I said, my, my sweet spot for it is 200 bucks. Because I, I, I really don't think it's that much of an upgrade. But like I said, I haven't played one, had it and played it on my TV or nothing. So not to get into it. But the other thing going around is this neutral gamer thing now. I, I don't know what to say about that, man. I, I listen to some other guys and... uh. They can get extreme at times, but I, at the end of the day, you do like what you like. Like I said, I'm an Xbox guy first and foremost. I bleed green, as they say, but uh, I like my PS4 as well. I mostly play fighters on my PlayStation, and they're exclusives. That's about it. Uh, mostly everything else, my shooters, 2K, basketball, or wrestling. Uh, Madden, when I do play Madden, I tend to play on the Xbox because that is where most of my friends are on. I feel, and it's also, I think, been proven that they have the better online service. And, you know, and they give away better free games right now. So it's a lot of things that keeps me towards the Xbox brand at the end of the day. And let's not forget the most important tool in your gaming library is this remote hands down probably the best remote so uh you know neutral i'm not classified as a neutral uh i'm a fanboy but i'm not an extreme fanboy i don't go out and burn ps4 pros like some people would do it that was crazy and and i'm not gonna get out there and spread false lies about the xbox brand like oh the xbox is this and that I just play games, man. Yeah, the Xbox might not be as powerful as the regular PS4. Definitely not as powerful as the Pro. But the games still look good. They play good. So I I'm happy. Uh, but I do enjoy my PS4. Like I said, I have it. I have a PS4. I have every Sony console they ever made, with the exception of the Pro. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead on the sign out, man. Uh, like I said, uh, it's your boy Cray Simmons. You hit me up Xbox Live, Hollywood 27910, PlayStation Network, Cray Dollar. All right, I'm out.